Okay, guys, here we go again with some Rise of the Tomb Raider. Man, this 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 part got a bit tough, actually, because I had to redo this fight, and I died a couple of times. One of them was, last time I was playing poorly, because I was still getting used to... There was a problem with the middle mouse button. I couldn't do that whole turning those cans into explosives thing. I had to map it to X. I don't think the middle mouse button still works, like it hasn't magically started working, but... um. Also, I just died really quickly in this part. It was a bit... A bit tough this part, for whatever reason, but I, I'm still confident I can carry on in our little escape from the gulag after all the shocking twists and turns last time. I was a bit surprised. You know, I gotta say, one thing I really enjoy, sometimes uh, it, I, I'm always amused by stuff I said in a previous episode that I've kind of forgotten and... Oh, Hilo's still here. And this time there was a really funny one when I was just recently, at time of recording, I released uh, episode 3, where I, while collecting coins, I go, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these coins. It's not like there's gonna be some merchant here, like, what are you buying? And I'll buy stuff with the coins. And sure enough, in episode 9, we met that exact guy. I mean, all that was missing was him doing the line from Resident Evil 4. He practically was that dude. What happened here? Interesting. Did the natives get through here? That Jacob dude we saved? Did he do this? Because, damn, he's not too bad in a fight himself, is he? These were a challenge. I only realized this after missing tons of these in the area. So yeah, it was really funny that <laughs> for once I kind of predicted something. Well, well, I predicted while going, that's not gonna happen. And in fact, it did happen. It was awesome. As we push deeper into the valley, I feel reassured that this is the work I was chosen to perform. My stigmata, it was sensational. That's right, he was stigmatized. It was a constant reminder of my higher purpose. Of my singular position in this higher purpose. I was a child, innocent to the evils of the world. Then, one night, I woke in such pain, a scream on my lips. Blood dripped from my palms when I saw it. I was terrified. It marked me. It meant something. I cannot shirk this mission anymore. Then I can shirk my own hands. Oh yeah, it's Constantine. He does have that like weird symbol etched on his cheek. Is this implying that? Uh, is this implying that while he was a kid, just some guy snuck into his room and branded him while he was sleeping? That's or sliced that thing in his face. That's pretty messed up, you guys. Oh, we're full on arrows. Why are these guys Jacob? with obvious guns? I think I'm close to the train yard. Using are using arrows. Okay. Well, you don't hear me. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Hey, look, it's Grandfather Lin in there. <laughs> of course, it's a Soviet Soviet camp. Uncle Lenning there watching the good little workers of the proletariat. Except Things are completely different now. I wonder if Jacob's got ba backup. Did he call in some of his friends? Because this is quite a lot of work for a single man. I mean, what am I saying? Lara's already killed this many people in the segment since we got the AK, so... <laughs> but that's because we're the main character, you know? We're the video game dude. Can you pick up that... Oh, never mind then. Whoa, CQC! He's been trained by Big Boss. What took you so long? I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Well, it looks like you didn't need much help after, after you were out. Oh! Escape the helicopter. Well, I'll try. I'm not sure if I'm still in a cutscene or not, but... Uh, I'm holding down forward, so... <laughs> oh no. Like... I surrender? Uh-oh. I think we're going for a cold swim, Jacob. Oh no! Survive the freezing waters. That's no good. Let's go towards the light. That's always a good idea in video games. That's part of video game design is to uh, show, light the area you want the player to go to. 
though. Oh my god, we are so far away from... Oh no. This is a nightmare. I've said before I'm not terribly afraid of the ocean, but getting stuck under ice is a thing that is super scary as a thought to me. This is... Oh. Oh, good work, game designers, because for a second I was like, did I... was I not fast enough? The way it blacked out a second before reaching? Damn. That was gnarly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping that's a campfire and not an electric light, because otherwise we are about to become Jack Nicholson. Already they found me, but I'm still all frozen. Okay, now is not the time to go swimming. I don't think my body can handle another. Dip in that below freezing water. Yeah, the helicopter chase did feel a bit too short. I was like, wow, alright then, not much of an escape. <laughs> oh, that was a thing to gra Oh, I thought it was with a swing bar, but it was a rope. <laughs> oh, I flubbed that jump. Oh, it was the bullets that got me. Aw, uh, I was doing really good too, but I landed a bit too far to the right. Okay, and that time I apparently was supposed to be holding some... What was that now? Okay, that was weird. I pressed some button and I immediately fell off. Right, now we aim to the left. That's more like it. Give me a little merry chase. Okay, now the helicopter has just the worst aim after after shooting me in the water like that. Oh. Okay then. Very selective vision on this guy. I think I see her. No, no, I don't. Is everything all right? Dad? Been hitting the bottles again. I hope not. Oh my. I didn't realize it was quite that dramatic for young Lara. Take it easy. Drink this. It'll help. Damn, how did this guy find me? You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? Hells yes. Oh, that's good too. Awesome. <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? Okay, enough with this night snapping. Let's, let's get on with the exposition, please. So what makes you risk so much to come here? A divine source. I know what you're looking for. Oh my god, I just realized who this guy is, or I have a theory now. But, um, I'll save it for later. But I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist, too. In his last years, he was... obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him. Including me. I don't believe him either. That's crazy. There's no immortals in this room. Uh, I, this Our world, I mean. It was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken. But he died for something. So you believe the divine source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, 
It needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. I think it belongs in a museum, personally. The difference is not always for the best. Not that it's real, of course. You're crazy, my dear. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and oh, Trinity. He is one of them. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you. But my goal remains the same. If I give up now... Now look at how floofy her hair is. Letting him down. That's not, not one of those him. weird things they put I effort need into. Answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Yeah, I... This point, my suspicion is that guy is the prophet himself. That's the twist I'm expecting to show up, but... Uh, a new adventure awaits. Thank you for purchasing Baba Yaga, the Temple of the Witch for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Objectives are indicated with pink markers on your map. A new mission is waiting for you in the Soviet installation. The mysteries of the wicked veil beckon. I'm not gonna lie, after all my rants about DLCs, I'm gonna be a hypocrite here and say I'm kind of interested in this. Well, I said it in the first episode. I like the idea of a Baba Yaga-focused story, so... Jacob, are you there? Nobody there. Where is he? Wow, look at this new explorer costume we got for free. It looks so neato. <laughs> now you're a real adventurer, Lara. Hey, look at all this saucy song we got going on here. Man, Jacob has the most awesome cave. Why does he have this like little hideout if he has his own village? That's a bit weird. Anyway, this this place looks sick. I what a cool place that Jacob has. Too bad we can't hang out here any further. Where are we even? Well, conveniently, the Baba Yaga mission, it's not even off the beaten path. It's its right that away where we're heading anyway to um, to visit uh, the, the next part of the main quest. To reach the copper mill to meet up. So I think... If you guys will permit me, I would really like to do the Baba Yaga side quest. It's like a... I've heard it's like an hour or two hours extra. So that's like a, a couple ex, a couple more episodes. Which I think is going to be worth it. I, well, I don't really know. I mean, we'll judge. But I think it, it could be a fun mission. Because it sounds... The description at least sounds fun. I mean, like I've said, I'm a bit suspicious about all forms of DLC. But in this case, I could be willing... Like I said, there are some DLC missions I've enjoyed, like like side stories, and even those that I've enjoyed. Watch. We have contact with the native in the old sawmill. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Why don't you go check that out? But even the ones I really enjoyed just leave me wanting more, and then I'm just annoyed that it's just a little DLC thing. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. Strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. Like he's seen so many no things in the world. <laughs> Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. At least for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on. Yeah, it is a bit mysterious, isn't it? Let's look at what we can do for our handgun first. 
Haven't upgraded that in a while. Oh, I'd really, really like uh, some of this stuff here, but nah, it's fine. It's fine. I guess just extra damage, higher rate of fire, reload speed. I think I'll take extra damage now, maybe reload speed later on. Seems smart. How's the assault rifle doing? Nope. And bow is... Nothing new on the bow front. Oh, these are all DLC bows, never mind. Look at the inventory real quickly. Don't know what the status is around here. Nope, still not good. I haven't done enough animal hunting. Unfortunately, that seems to be my problem here, because all of these are like not enough animal hides. I have to keep eyes open for those lovely, lovely animals and their skins. Okay, some hunter skill. What would we get? I don't use the bow very much anymore. Mm, animal instincts, that would be useful. Dead eye. I think I'll take this, increase the amount of things, except this is increase the amount of ammunition. I like the idea of natural resources, I'll take that. I like the idea of that. All oh, right, of course, and before we head on, can do, what's this new costume I got? The remnant jacket. Brown canvas jacket received from Jacob. Lightweight yet sturdy. Mm, assume that's the only. New costume we have here. It's sick. I love this costume. It looks really... I look like... I look like some Nigel Thornberry type. Dashing adventurer wearing this. I, I'm so, so happy to get this thing for free. Uh, I'm not gonna go rappelling quite yet because... Oh, cool. We get, like, huge view here. I wanna go visit uh, our friend the merchant real quickly. See what I can get with my current collection of coins. So that we're gonna do that rappel. See what happens then. Remember, there's that commando outfit for sale uh, at the merchant's place. I probably can't get that yet. There's also other neat stuff. I might be irresponsible with my cash and get one of those right now. Yeah, like when I say like really good DLC, I enjoyed. It's both of the character missions in. Um, in Metal Gear Rising and the Yeti mission in Far Cry 4 were DLCs that I really enjoyed playing. But again, a lot of those I was like, I mm -mm -mm, wish this was a full game, not just as this little add-on thing. Some would say that's me being greedy, like that I'm expecting more work out of them. I'm, I won't, I won't argue too much. I'm not going to say they shouldn't make them. Hey, welcome back. Howdy. If you found any more gold, I've got gear for you. Rope ascender. Try to be discreet, okay? Only got 14 coins. That's not too great. I'll have to really keep my eyes open for some of this stuff now. I didn't realize I had that little, so I can't even get some of these really neat stuff like the laser sight or grenade launcher or the ascender. Oh, commando outfits what I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> I, I, I'm such a I'm such a fashion weirdo, I'm such a costume weirdo in video games. Alternate costumes are always fun. Okay, let's uh let's uh, go back there and let's do that rappelling thing. That seems like a fun thing to do. Well, speaking of coins, there was a cachet somewhere nearby, so maybe it's like only up on this cliff? Gonna have to, gonna have to pay attention. All right. Um, yeah, it's down and to the right. No, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that coin cachet, so. Never mind then. There's a cachet over there I missed somehow. That's a bit annoying. 
disturbance in the sawmill. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go do some sawmilling, shall we? That sounds fun. That almost looked like I flubbed that jump for a second. Oh, oops. <laughs> looked the wrong way. Optional mission available. Don't shoot. I'm with Jacob. Oh, it's hey there. to wait for you, but these bastards found us first. Huh. Oh, this isn't the saw. This isn't Baba Yaga. I think this is just a side mission. What's up, dude? Oh God, are you all right? I'll live, but I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there. Oh, I remember they that can't place. Clear it out on my own. Not like this. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. I might even have something for that pistol of yours. Can you help us? Don't say it's a suppressor, because I already have a su ooh a pistol sight. Yes, please. Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Oh, it's a wolf then that a ways. Right about you. Oh well, well, thanks. Glad to glad to hear that. I guess. Hmm. Well, we're pistol ammo, right? I think so. Let's do some lock picking. Man, that guy ruined my train of thought completely. What, what, what was I talking about before? I'm sorry. I'm all confused. No, yeah, well, it's either here or not there. We'll do this wolf mission then, and then we'll go do the Baba Yaga. Oh, animal skins. That's what I need to worry about. Sorry, squirrel. Actually, yeah, I... I was thinking about recently me gleefully hunting animals in one of the previous episodes. There might be some animal lovers that don't really enjoy me doing that. I have to admit, mm, I feel a bit sick shooting a squirrel myself. I just have to tell myself it's a video game, you know. We need to do this to survive and stuff. There's another side mission here, I think. It showed up on the map there. Wow. This is really involved with these side Back. missions. Good. It's oh this guy, of course. What's up, dude? What's what? the problem? I have warriors spread across this valley. Last night, two of my bravest were captured, and I have reason to believe they are still alive. There was a third with them who escaped, and he tells me they were taken beneath the train station. Saw them put into cages before he managed to escape. I have a dozen other warriors in the valley, and I have to stay here to coordinate their strikes. But you I've seen what you can do, and I must ask you to help. Okay. Oh, new outfit again. Yes, yes, of course. You won me over. Thank you. They knew the risks, and they would happily die for the cause. But I can't let that happen. Okay. So where is that quest? That's a weird place. How do I get there? Do I have to... Can I get over here? Can I go following this path get there? Or do I have to swing over from here? Well, let's go kill those wolves first. And then we'll worry about saving that. Oh, I, I think I see it from here. It's... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's that plinth over there. I'm guessing we can loop around over there. Also, I see a post over there for rope bridges. Uh, mm, kind of looks like I might be able to get across somehow. We'll, we'll worry about that. We'll cross that bridge or we'll build that bridge and then cross it when that time comes, but... For the moment, we're gonna go clear those wolves out. Ooh, a deer. Yep. If you're wondering why I'm doing this with a bow, I'm again just wondering if there's like a mechanic where if you shoot them with a weapon, you kind of lose out on the animal skins. Like you get better loot by using the bow. I don't remember which game had that mechanic. Could have been the previous Tomb Raider for all I remember, but I definitely remember some game where you specifically use a bow to hunt animals, you get better loot than uh, shooting them with, with a gun. Huh. 
For a second I thought I was doomed, but never mind. Dang it! <laughs> how do I... How do I get over there? Oh, I guess I'll just walk this way. Oh, and I can get over from here. Huh. Oh, this is one of those caves. Not the cave I was looking for, but a cave all the same. Ooh, ooh dear. This is a spooky looking cave. Actually, yeah, let's check this first. Uh, just a... Uh, Thousand year old garbage bin? Uh. This is what I'm more interested in. What do we find behind this wall? Let me just do deface this artifact. This ancient stone wall. A huge cache of coins. Which only led to two more. <laughs> what is that symbol? That's interesting. What does this symbol mean? That's not just a cave. A crypt entrance. It's not a tomb, it's just a crypt. Yeah, it's not as fancy as a tomb. Don't get any wrong ideas about this being a tomb, we're simply in a crypt. Even though this crypt is going places, this is deep. Ah yes, more of the ancient go. Two coins. Whoa. Whoa! Damien, the Prophet's Forge. So the Smith guy was here, I guess. Oh wow, really? This isn't interactable? This picture of, I guess, Damien then? Right. What about this sword? Can I pick this sword up and use that? No? No? Okay. This cave is nuts! I mean, this wasn't even part of the quest! I was just like, let's look at this cave here. What is this? Freaking Elder Scrolls games all of a sudden? I don't cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Oh my god, that's totally the same voice actor as Jacob. Doing the prophet here, I th I think I, I think I I think I hit the jackpot in my guess there that he's gonna turn out to be the guy, huh? All right, well Damien was a craftsman and a big fan. The prophet was a big fan. Of him. All right then. Oh sweet, we're so good at Greek now. It's all Greek to me. Can I get to Damien's crypt? Remember, it's not a tomb. A tomb implies it's huge and there's puzzles. A crypt is just getting there, obviously. Actually, I'm not making this up as I go along, but... I just really find it funny that there's like a... separate descriptor for a crypt, apart from a tomb. Crypt treasure. Oh, and we're underneath the gulag again. Huh. Well, let's go tomb robbing, shall we? Oh, sorry, crypt robbing. Oh, excuse me, my faux pas there. An ancient bow. Interesting. And as we all know, weapons worked better in the past than in the modern day. Hmm. Consider my curiosity peaked for this ancient bow. I assume we'll make it back from here. There we go. That was a fun side jaunt. We haven't even gotten to the true side jaunt, which is the Baba Yaga mission, because we got all these side quests, optional things. It's fine. Okay. All right. Well, I feel good about that, Lucane Sojourn. Ooh, that was bright. Now there's still a coin cachet in this little corner somewhere here. We know. Let's hope this one's the mother load. Seven. 
yeah. So I've made like... It? Oh, I didn't even need to... I could just double jump that. That was weird. Oh, cool. We could just climb back up to that base camp up there. All right, then. Didn't, didn't realize that was an option. What I'm really looking for is that wolf den. That's what matters at this point. Oh no, the, the symbol... I just realized there's no symbol here going... The mission, mission giver symbol for the guy isn't here anymore, so... Did I maybe abort the wolf mission on account of me deciding to pick another mission before I completed the first one? Oh... Hell's bells, if I did that, I'm going to be embarrassed. <laughs> 